Hey friends, today we'll be building off the last video and adding command cooldowns as well as aliases. If you haven't seen the previous video yet, link is in the top right, go check it out. As always, code in this video and following videos will be linked in the description and if you want to help or would like to reach out to me, be sure to join my Discord server. If you want more of these tutorials and would like to support me, then hit that like button. Enjoy! First, open up our bot class, and we'll need to add our command and aliases uh, collections. So this dot aliases equals new collection, and this dot cooldowns equals new collection. So the aliases collection is going to store um, a bunch of command aliases and point them to the actual command names. And the cooldown will hold the uh, command name as well as the user and tie that to a date when that command can be next used again. Under load commands, uh, we want to add an extra line here to ensure that we're actually loading in the uh, commands aliases if there is any. So if command aliases exists then we'll add them so there could be multiple so I'm gonna use uh, for each this could be an array under command aliases so we'll have alias and we'll add each of the aliases so this dot aliases dot set uh, and command name There we go, and for git command, right now we're only fetching by the exact command name. Uh, we want to also check if we can't get one directly from the name, then we want to check the aliases, check if there's a match, and if so, uh, use that match to find the actual command. So uh, we will have let command equals that. If we haven't found a command, then we can search the aliases, so command this dot commands dot get and this dot aliases aliases dot get using the command name and finally return the command now let's move on to our message create over here, our git command we just updated, so that will take into consideration the aliases. Um, all we need to do here is to ensure that we're taking care of the cooldowns. So first, if there's no command, we can uh, return early and ignore the rest. If the command that we're looking at currently has a cooldown, then we'll check the cooldowns. So first, we'll see if there is an existing cooldown for this command for this given user. So cooldown until this dot client dot cooldowns dot git and we'll construct the key of this by using the command name and the uh, ID of the user so command dot name dash and message dot author dot ID if cooldown until uh, if this actually exists, so if there was a previous execution of the command, and I notice I spelled this wrong, then we want to check if this cooldown is greater than the current date. Um, and if it is, that means we are still on cooldown. So we want to give an error message and not actually run the command. So message.reply, respond with command is still on cooldown for and we'll give them the time in seconds. So math.ceiling uh, cool cooldown until uh, minus date.now. And we'll divide this whole thing by a thousand because all of this will have in milliseconds more seconds. <coughs> and of course, milliseconds divide 1000 gives you seconds, which is why we're doing that right there. And afterwards, if uh, this error is never triggered, that means we are not on cooldown. So let's go ahead and set a new cooldown. So dot client dot cooldowns dot set, and it's the same thing as this. So I'll actually just copy paste it over, copy paste, and we want to add the new cooldown time. So I will grab the new date grab the value of that date 
and we'll add command.cooldown. So what this will do is take the current time and add in the cooldown of the command. So that will be when that command can next be executed by this specific user. And finally, uh, we can just go ahead and run the command as normal. Now let's go ahead to our ping command from our first video and let's give it some aliases and a cooldown. So alias, uh, all we need to do is just add this, add an array, and we'll give it, let's say, a pong as an alias, and let's do hello. And then for cooldowns, uh, we can give it, let's say, a five second cooldown. So five times 1,000 gives you 5,000 milliseconds, which is equivalent to five seconds. Let's open up the terminal and let's run the bot. So node index.js. Now let's hop over to Discord and try it out. Over here, if we try to run our command, you'll see it does respawn. But if we write with the aliases, it will also call the same command. But since the ping command is on cooldown, it gives us the error. If we type pong again, now that we've waited, it's going to respawn with pong. As expected, it is calling the original command. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next one. We'll be covering uh, user and role permissions.